Shout out to Home Team Hoops, shout out to Ryan. I'm Sharif O'Neill from Los Angeles, California. Windward High School, uh, I've been going there since eighth grade. My season's been going awesome, uh, better than it was last year. I was a freshman, I was averaging about four points a game. Now it's about up to like 24 points a game. I started playing ball when I was like four years old and I didn't play competitively until I was about eight. I started playing in the local rec league and then people were telling me that I could take it to the next level. I didn't even know what AAU meant. Then I started playing AU when I was about 13, then 13, all the way up till now. Now I'm playing EYBL with the Nike team, Cal Spring. Just going to see my dad play on the big court and, and like the, the vibe I got from the arenas. I mean, I was young when I saw it, but it just brought my love to the game. The people around me, my family, they keep me motivated. They all support me in everything I do. Just my dad gives me long talks about how I don't have to play if I want to. It's my choice. He's not forcing me to play. Because for the longest time, I thought I had to play basketball just because basketball is a family thing. But my dad motivates me the most. He says I don't have to play for anybody as long as I'm making my family happy, then I'm doing the right thing. I don't have to go out there playing for what the press is going to say, what scouts are going to say, or what the crowd is going to say, just play for myself and for my family. My post game is not really strong like his. It's kind of kind of a perimeter guy. So I go to him every summer for about the almost the whole summer until basketball. I'm going to work on post and other guard moves. Surprisingly, yeah, he knows a lot of guard moves. Him supporting me, if, if he comes to one of my games, the crowd isn't really focused on the game. They're more focused on him. And I mean, it doesn't bother me because I know who he is and I know what he's done, but I'm just I'm glad he's here to support me. Uh, it was different because I could, before that, I could walk around and people wouldn't really recognize me and I didn't know how that type of lifestyle was. But after the video dropped, I was like, oh, okay, uh, who mixtape dropped a video? I was like, all right, it's on YouTube. And then people were tagging me and stuff on Instagram and Twitter. And then now it has over 10 million views and it's just crazy. Now it kind of like worries me when I go out. I just don't want to be with like my friends and then TMZ is stopping me because it's kind of it's embarrassing. Like I'm a kid and it's just kind of weird to have cameras all following me around. And it's all for I was having a couple bad games before that and then the game started it was like 30 seconds into the game. I pointed up into the sky, my teammate Jalen, he threw it up. That was my first dunk. Then I was, the crowd got pretty hype and then my team got pretty hype. And then after that, I caught another lob about like two minutes later. Throughout the game, uh, I just kept dunking. I think all my points were dunks. And I mean, the other team, they were, they were trying to hack me when I walked past. So one of the kids had to get a little push when he walked past me. So. <laughs> yeah. I think I got my mean side from my dad. Because I mean, I play a lot of people and they think I'm soft just because I come from not like a bad part of a neighborhood or anything or because I was born with it already handed to me. I love my little brother. That's like, that's like one of my best friends. Uh, I just try to support him. He plays basketball. He just looks up to me and my dad and he, we had a, me and him had a talk. He said he looks up to me the most because I'm here to challenge him when he needs something or whenever we play I'm not playing him too easy or letting him score and I think he likes the competition. He'd always asking me like let's go play one-on-one -on -one. let's go play one-on-one -on -one. let's do this he's always trying to block me if i dunk he, he does he's not afraid of anything i think 
he's going to have a bigger basketball career than I am just because how much work he puts in and how much better he wants to be than I am. I've been holding this on my mind. It's like pressure. I've just been wanting to say this to somebody, so I might as well say it here. Uh, pressure is one of the biggest things that like has bothered me while I play basketball just because the people say I'm hype or that I'm going to be a bust just because I might be good now playing against the people that I play against, but they don't think I'm going to make it league and they don't know how much hard work I put in. And every game I usually play at like a showcase, people are always being like, oh, Shaq's son is Shaq's son and blah, blah, blah. And I'm trying to make a name for myself, but people expect me to score about 30 a game. And if I'm, I might have a bad game at a showcase and then people are already saying this or already saying that, or if I don't dunk or if I don't post up like how my dad does, people are already saying this, but it doesn't bother me. Uh, it was bothering me for a little bit because um, I was a freshman last year and then people were like, oh, that's Jackson, oh, that's Jackson. I wouldn't play it. And they're like, oh, he's weak because he doesn't start. And then my dad gave me like a two hour long talk about how not to worry about that. And that's where I got the mentality not to play for anybody, just to play for myself and my family. California is a cool place. I've been, I was born here. And then after that, I moved to Phoenix and then Orlando. And then out of here in Orlando, I like LA the best. Orlando is like my second home. I uh, have a lot of friends out there, but LA just, I, I know almost, almost every high school basketball player here. I'm real cool with everybody and everybody here is just that's positive vibes. My all-time favorite moment was my first dunk. I remember I was ninth grade in practice, third practice, and everybody else on the team was dunking because they were all way taller than me. And then we were scrimmaging, and then I just went baseline, and I rose up on one of my teammates, and then that's all when I started dunking, and then that brought my self-esteem up to just start dunking every time I get close to the rim. I have like a bucket list at home of what my like basketball goals are, and one is to be one of the top ranked players in the country, uh, and then while I'm a senior, I want to make it to the All-American game, and then go to a good college, and then make it pro, of course. The birthday, I originally in invited about like a couple of my friends, but then my, I didn't know my mom and dad invited like more people that I was like connected with. So it ended up being like 400 people there and it was crazy. And then I didn't expect to get a car either because I just have my permit and then I haven't really been driving a lot. But then my dad, he whispered in my ear, he's like, he's like, go outside. I tell him I tell everybody to go outside. So I walked outside and there was a matte blue Jeep and then another like a navy blue Lamborghini, it's crazy. I don't really drive, I can't, I'm not allowed to drive the Lamborghini till I'm 18 because actually I, me and my dad agreed on that rule because it's way too fast. I was watching him drive it, but the Jeep, I'm gonna start driving once I get my license. He like, has a lot of cars, but they have to get customized. He likes the smaller cars, so he has to take them to get customized so he could fit in them. Yeah, he loves cars. I, I kind of like how tall I am now, but I, I sometimes I like being tall for basketball reasons and sometimes I don't because if my family's like let's go to Disneyland and we all go to Disneyland there's some rides I can not get on just because of my height and that's I, like my childhood is not the same anymore just because of my height at school I can't really fit in the desk sometimes I have to duck under doors and it's fun but it's also not fun. I've been hooping with my dad since I was like eight uh, that's when I really started playing because he would uh, the neighborhood he lives in in Orlando is called Islesworth, he, and that's where like Vince Carter and Trace McGrady have houses over there. So they would always come to the house when they were younger and hoop around, and they'd be like, "Oh, Reef, come play," and I'd play, and I just see them do it, like seeing Vince Carter and Trace McGrady play against you is just a crazy experience. And then my dad, I I can beat him now, of course, because he can't guard me. His house, he has a court, and he actually broke one of the backboards there. I remember that. It didn't, it didn't like shatter, but like the, just the whole hoop like collapsed. Vince Carter, when we were at the house, I remember this. Uh, it, he was on a fast break and I was running behind him just, just because, and he threw it off the backboard, caught it and then the windmilled it. And that was the craziest thing. We were freaking out, but I guess everybody else in the gym was used to him doing crazy stuff like that. So Orlando, I go there every summer and then I go to like the Dr. Phillips YMCA. And then that's where I meet all the basketball players. Uh, I've been playing with like the 17 year old ever since I was like 12 years old because I wanted to play with my older brother. He doesn't play anymore. He just designs clothes. But that, just playing against all those kids just made me like just love basketball. Just people think by like what I post on my Instagram that I'm like, 
like too cool or too like like cocky or whatever but everybody at school it says like I'm a regular kid like I don't go around like bragging about what I have I just try to fit in with all the other people I'm around not to feel like I'm better than anyone just to feel equal like I'm I'm a person like I do everything the same it's just I have a slightly bigger advantage because of who my parents are and where I come from but I don't let that change about who I hang out with or what I do I try to be regular